Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel on this rainy day. Today I wanted to do a update video on my 1991 Mercedes-Benz 190E. As you guys know, this car's uh, longtime followers probably already know that this car has been around the channel for quite some time now. Um, I bought this car about a year and a half ago. It was in April um, of 2018, I believe. So I've had the car a little over a year now, and um, I have actually a slideshow of when I first got it, and you can probably tell there's some differences. I have, I've been meaning to do a video. I've had a couple people ask me about it, like um, Ford Mustang 98 guy, he's been asking me about it, and so I thought I would do another update on it for you guys. So here's the car. One thing I did put on it was a 1320 video plate when I got when we went to Bristol to watch the drag racing in Bristol Tennessee so the car's paint as you can tell is in really really good shape this I also have some stickers on my car I have a JEG sticker RTIC sticker Holly equipped sticker I have two JEG stickers on the back the 2.34 cylinder it also is a 190e um so this is like the w201 chassis got boost sticker two apple stickers another apple sticker and some other stickers also i did get the windows tinted on my car we did the stripe across the windshield and these are legal tents um it's not a illegal Here's the keychain I got. It's a 1320 video. Shout out to them. Um, got it, and it says daily on it, but we don't drive this car daily. Um, so, here's the key for it. It's the square key, round key, typical old cars. Um, here's the round key. You can also start this with the vehicle. And then I have my Mercedes keychain. Got to always have that. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you the interior of my car. Okay, so the interior of my car is in really, really good shape. As you can see, the door cards have held up so exceptionally. This is coming off a little bit, but it, I'm leaving it. You got your manual windows, or manual mirrors, I'm sorry about that. It's got the original floor mats in here. Uh, same Mercedes Benz, but they're not all messed up or anything. The seats are in really good shape, as you can see. They're not ripped or torn up one bit. The headliner is in really, really good shape. There's the miles of the vehicle. It's got 151,000 miles, so we've put probably around 1,100 miles on it. I don't know if you guys know, but this is actual gold trim on the car, even around the windows in the very back. This is actual gold trim really cool I thought about maybe polishing it out really make it look like it's an actual really make it look stand out a little bit better than it does but, I mean look at all the trim it's held up so exceptionally well it is a uh, it's 90 91 10 of 91 that would make it a 90 or 10 of 90 would make it a 91 smells good in here because I got two air fresheners in here um one thing I'm probably gonna get asked about I did not put this dash cover in here because it was cracking I put it in here because my car get, has leather interior and when it does hit the sun I don't want it cracking up my dash because my dash as you can see is in really good shape there's no there's not nothing nothing to write home about about it I mean it's in really really good shape so I keep this cover over it to protect it. That's one thing I wanted to say. Also, same thing with the steering wheel. The steering wheel is in really good shape. I just put this cover over it to protect it and because it's got the wood trim and I think it kind of matches my uh, my dash. As you can see, it's split up over time. That's common on these old cars. You can probably get a re um, one off eBay for probably pretty cheap. Got your ashtray. This has never been smoked in. This is when I got in the mail. I got some extra stuff with my car. So, the car had never been smoked in, as you can see. 
that's just held up exceptionally well to be an old car. Let you know that you need to buckle up your seatbelt. In here is the glove box. In the car, this nice car. I'm gonna use the circle key this time. There's the radio. It takes it a second to start. It's the PVC system. We already ordered one for it. But the car runs great, as you can see. It says it's 74 degrees outside. Also, I like how the orange needles light up at nighttime. It lights up really nice. It's a nice car. Also, have your blinkers. This is a nice car. I want to show you with the fog lights on it at night time because it looks so great. It's a nice car. My rearview mirror is kind of crooked a little bit. That's a little carpet piece down here. I have some driving videos of this car on my channel if you guys want to check it out. I also have all the books over there for the car. This is uh, your cruise control right here. Here's the radio. It's got a good stereo in it too. The AC is really cold. We did a converted to R138 and it's pretty cold. To be an old car. I love how the wood trim is in such good shape on this car. Hazards in your windows down here. All the windows work on it. I like the steering wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off. I guess I could show you guys under the hood. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna show you guys the back as well. The seats in this car are just very nice. There's the back. Looks like it's never been sat in, but probably at some point it probably has been. It's also got the original medical kit in the back window. I thought I'd do an update on it. I mean, the car is very, very clean. Clean, clean, clean. The grill's nice. There's a chrome on the grill. Let's see how am I going to do this. There we go. The shocks stay up. There's the motor. We put a new head gasket on it, a new battery, new uh, valve cover gasket, new plug plugs and wires, cap and rotor. And um, it's a great car. Needs a new hood liner. We're gonna order one online pretty soon for it. I love that. So. So let me know what you guys think about my old car. I think it's a really nice car. Um, also, I think this is about it for the car. 
please hit the subscribe button also turn my post notifications on and i guess i'll see you guys in my next video um see you later guys